first San Diegans will be asked to reach into their own pockets to help solve our affordable housing crisis. The city is moving towards placing a measure on the November ballot that would increase property tax bills to fund thousands of new homes. Our tennis reporter John Horn explains why the measure will need a lot more support to pass. It's not just about a homeless person or one group of people, it's about humanity. Jana Bryant led off more than 90 minutes of testimony at City Hall Tuesday. She implored the city council to support a ballot measure that could free up hundreds of millions of dollars to help solve our homeless crisis. It's about everybody collectively. The measure would raise property taxes over about seven years to fund an estimated 7,500 affordable housing units. The San Diego Housing Federation, which brought the plan forward, says it would on average assess 19 cents per $1,000 of assessed value. For a median priced home, that would be about $120 a year. However, Federation Chief Stephen Russell says it would take a gradual, phased-in approach. In the early years, it might be as little as $18 for the entire year. The next year, it might go up to $36 for the entire year. Russell says he believes the measure could get the necessary two-thirds vote, but it received a lukewarm reception outside City Hall Tuesday. Downtown resident James Douglas says something has to be done but lamented his own high rent. I was paying $750 for a two bedroom and living room and kitchen and front yard and backyard out like towards San Bernardino area and then yeah. here I get like a studio for a thousand dollars it's like not even worth it. If passed the city could tap into matching federal and state funds. And the council voted six to three to move the proposal forward and it needed that key six vote. It is going to have a couple more steps before it officially goes to the ballot. Now the Housing Federation says it would create 5,000 units for homeless or those at severe risk of becoming homeless and another 2,500 for low wage working families. For now, live in the newsroom, John Horn, 10 News. John, thank you. Governor